Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can take Instagram pictures by yourself because honestly it's you don't always have somebody to take your pictures for you so today i'm going to show you how to do this yourself if you're new here my name is janae and i do fashion lifestyle and beauty videos and if you like that kind of content then go ahead and subscribe to my channel but yeah it's nice today in sunny ohio it's 55 degrees in february that's all i gotta say so i'm outside and i'm gonna show you guys how i take my pictures by myself but first things first we're gonna start with a few materials that you're gonna need everybody's different some people take pictures on their phone some people take them on their camera i feel like a camera's doing too much personally so i just take my pictures on my phone so you need a phone and a tripod i don't have a real tripod like the tripod i use is actually a ring light and it's broken but it's a ring light, a desktop ring light, and it has a tripod on it. So that's what we're gonna be using today. Oh, and I'm so sorry if the sound is a little bit off. It's really windy out here, but I'm trying to talk loud. So hopefully you'll get what I'm saying. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. But for starters, you're gonna wanna find an outfit to wear and put on some accessories. Like I have on some earrings and a necklace. I even have on a, I don't always have on a bracelet, but I have some accessories and I brought out my little shoulder bag. I wear a shoulder bag literally in all of my pictures. It depends on your style and everything, but put on a cute outfit. Like get ready like you're about to, I don't know, do a whole lot today. Um, Today I'm just wearing this brat shirt. I got it from Hot Topic and my necklace is Bratz. It's from Hot Topic as well. And I just have some, you see these? I want some regular black sweatpants and my Converse, but they're my low cut ones. I mean, my low top Converse, they have hearts on the side. But yeah, that's my outfit for today. And I'm just going to be doing some default kind of pictures for real. I'm not gonna do like the best I could with my outfit because I already took a whole bunch of pictures this week for Instagram, so that's that. But yeah, so step one would be to find a nice area or place where you could take pictures. I usually take them in front of my garage doors or just, <laughs> Sorry, I'm like showing y'all my whole house, but I take them in front of the garage doors usually. Sometimes I take them in the driveway. It really all depends on what you want in your background, but so that is what we're going to be doing today. Mm, let's see. I'm going in front of my garage doors right now. So let's see how it looks. Sometimes the sun doesn't really reach over here. So I don't be knowing sometimes, but eh, it's kind of cool today. I might go to the front of my house because it's more sunlight up there, but you're gonna want to find a place. That's first things first. I have on a t-shirt and I'm just walking around like it's the middle of the summer, but it's not even cold out here for real. Like 55 degrees is warmer than I thought. Okay, so once you find a place, you're gonna want to sit your phone in your tripod and you're gonna want to check to see the ratio you want. I'm gonna insert a picture of what I mean, but you're gonna want to stand it up a certain way that it looks good for you. Sorry, it's so much background noise, but I'm outside. But you're gonna want to set it up a certain way so that it's a nice proportion in your picture, if you know what I'm saying. So that's what we're gonna do. So once you find that place, you're gonna want to sit down your tripod. I set mine down, it's pretty low, I'm not gonna lie, but that's just because mine is a desktop tripod. So yeah, you're gonna do that and that's about it. So my phone is sideways, but you're gonna wanna have your phone, you know, portrait straight up when you take your pictures. And another thing that I definitely recommend is this app called Lens Buddy. You need to get this app if you take your own pictures because basically it's a self timer, but you just click it once and it takes multiple pictures of you. It's such a good app. If you know anything about fashion TikTok, that's what everyone uses. So get you that app called Lens Buddy. And you basically just click the button and it takes your pictures. Okay, so once you get that app, I'm gonna give you a few picture taking tips. For one, I recommend that you always try to find direct sunlight if you can. I know sometimes it's hard, so you just do what you can, but find wherever you can that has the most lighting. So when you edit them, you can at least, you know, work with it. Along with that, I recommend you keep in motion while you're taking your pictures, especially on lens buddy, because you're gonna want some motion type of graphics and those usually come out a lot better than if you don't use them. So always stay in motion when you take your picture. Try to show off your whole outfit and know your angles. It depends a lot on what you're wearing sometimes or what kind of pictures you want it always depends but be your best to figure out your best angle and people are going to be staring at you so if you feel awkward taking pictures in front of people get over it because if you really want your pictures to come out that good then you'll do it and it won't even matter so yeah if anything just make sure you do that and later on i'll show you guys how you can edit them maybe i'll put a screen recording in and i'll just voice it over I don't know, but I'm gonna try to show you guys different ways that you can edit your pictures or tell you guys how you can edit your pictures so they come out the way that you want them to. Oh, and also so they come out ways that are trendy 
and like you know what people look for so when you post them people will appreciate all your work that you put into them because this is a lot of work i can't lie it's a lot of work to me so i'm gonna go ahead and go take some pictures and then i'll be right back okay so now it's definitely getting really really um cold out here oh God, look at my baby hair that's so irritating I hate when that happens. I put too much product trying to make my baby hair skew. Press comes on it. Anyways, so I lied. It's getting a little bit cold out here. So I'm about to go inside, but I think that I got some examples for you guys to see. And yeah, basically you want to always make sure that you know what you're doing when you're taking your pictures. Okay, you guys, so we're back in the house and I'm just going to give you guys a few tips on how you can edit your pictures and the best things that you can do to make sure your pictures stand out and they come out how you want them to. So for starters, I want to say that when you edit your pictures, you don't want to over edit them. So now I'm just going to try to walk you guys through how I edit my pictures. First, you're going to open the app Color Tone. And you're going to pick your picture out. And this app has a lot of different filters. That's mainly the only reason I have this app. So you just pick, what out, pick out whichever pictures you want. And you import them into the app. And then once you get them all in there, you go one by one and you click Edit. Go to Filters. And they have so many different ones. They have some from different people, different influencers. Um, they have a few good ones, a lot of good ones. But I know that most of them look locked. but you can still get some good ones from the ones that aren't locked like this one right here and then once you find the foot you want you just click it make sure everything looks good and then you save the image after you do that you're going to want to take your you're going to want to go to a different app called snapseed and this app messes with saturation and brightness the best in my opinion so you import your picture and you use this tool called the selection tool and with that tool, you can mess with the brightness and the saturation however you want to manipulate it. You can brighten the face, you can brighten the leg, I don't know, whatever. You can darken the background. And this is a really good tool because it makes it easy to customize your picture to whatever you want to do. And the goal all the time. So go ahead and get you Color Tone and Snapseed. I think that sometimes people assume that people over edit their pictures when they post them but that's not really necessarily true most of the time what i see and what i do is increase the saturation which makes it look a little more sunny um or decrease the brightness or increase the brightness depends on if you use any filters or stuff sometimes i do use filters but sometimes i don't but most of the time you just mess with brightness and saturation and vibrance if you have vibrance then also increase your vibrance because that can make it look better too but for the most part that's all you really need to do when you're editing your pictures you want to try to make sure your raw picture looks good if anything at first before you go in with any editing and stuff because if your raw picture by yourself doesn't look good then it's not really much you can do with the editing sometimes you can finesse it but sometimes you really can't <laughs> So I'm not saying I have the best pictures in the world. I definitely don't. Um, I learn almost every day, just like everyone else, you know, what things work for my pictures and what things don't. But oh my God, I'm gonna take these braids out soon because ugh, the baby hairs on them is just not working for me. I really like these braids though, they're cute. I recommend it. But yeah, so for starters, make sure you try to mess with the brightness and the saturation before anything else. Another thing I wanna say when you're editing your pictures and when you take them, I know I already stated how you wanna try to get the best angle and sunlight that you can. But you're also going to want to make sure that the positioning is right because if it's positioned where it's too much space on top or too much space on the bottom, your picture can look a little disproportionate. So you're going to want to try your best to have the best positioning that you can. And I definitely recommend that you pay attention to those things when you take your pictures because I used to not. I used to just be like, take these pictures of me and however they come out, they come out, pick the best ones. But it really helps a lot if you want to get some good quality pictures if you pay attention to the positioning and stuff. Speaking of good quality pictures, I think that you should use your back camera. Sometimes, don't get me wrong, granted, I do like to see myself and I do use the front camera, but most of the time, especially when doing full body pictures, I always use the back camera because it's so much clearer and it's just, it's a lot better in my opinion, but that's just me. Use your back camera, always use your back camera. That's, that's always your best friend, <laughs> your best bet when you make these kind of pictures and when you want your content to stand out. Also, I recommend that you have an idea of what you want your feed to look like. I didn't used to pay attention to this and that's why I think I didn't like my feed for a long time. I was just like, whichever ones come out good, come out good. But no, like you're gonna wanna make sure that your pictures have a similar type of setting and like lighting and look 
and that's what presets people use presets i know but that's like what i'm getting at kind of want to make it look like a preset but you don't have to necessarily use one i never used one before i don't even know how that works but the point is you're gonna want all your pictures to be similar so yeah i definitely recommend that you think about that or keep that in mind when you take your pictures where you take your pictures and everything like that so for the most part that's all this i really have for this video um have fun with your pictures take pictures that you want to take post them don't care what anyone else thinks because sometimes i post pictures um like with the edits the y2k type of edits and stuff but anyway sometimes i post pictures that people don't necessarily always give me the most likes for but i like those pictures so i leave them up post what you want to post help make your feed look nice yourself because at the end of the day the only person you're really taking pictures for is yourself anyway so you go ahead and do that but for the most part that is the tips that i have from my little bit of experience taking pictures because i take pictures nearly every day because i've always wanted to grow my instagram but i've never really paid attention to the little things and that's what i wanted to get at in this video because i know that i did another video before on how i take my instagram pictures but a few things have changed and I have some new advice, some new tips, and that's what I wanted to say in this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. This is just a friendly reminder that my name is Janae and I make fashion, lifestyle, and beauty content. Sometimes I dabble in different niches like college or that's really the only one, but sometimes I give some advice and stuff like that. So if you like this kind of content and you like me, I guess, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.